How to measure the output power of a transmitter and the visoir of an antenna system using a directional power meter. To make the measurements in this demonstration, we will be using a low power transmitter, a directional power meter, specifically a Bird Model 43, and an antenna system. Notice the element in the Model 43. This element determines the power and frequency range of the instrument that needs to be made. The element has a full scale power value of about 10 watts and will measure power in a frequency band of up to 25 to 60 megahertz. Based on the element value, this tells you what scale to use on the power meter. Since this is a 10 watt full scale element, you'd use the bottom scale of the power meter, which says 100, but is actually 10 in this case. Here we show how the power meter is connected. One side is connected to the transceiver, while the other side of the power meter is connected to the antenna system. We will now demonstrate the operation of the power meter. Key the mic and watch the power rise up to about 6 watts. This is the power being delivered to the antenna. You can see this by reading the bottom scale on the power meter. Because of the mismatch between the transmission line system and the antenna, there is going to be some reflected power. So turning the element around in the reflected direction with the arrow pointing back towards the transceiver and keying the mic again, you can see there is about 2.4 watts of reflected power. Based on that, there is an obvious tuning problem with the antenna. We have purposely detuned the antenna for this demonstration. You can calculate the visoir or voltage standing wave ratio with our online BIRD RF calculator. Visit us at www.birdrf.com.